Only a crazy person would come between a couple of hungry cab drivers and the food they ordered after a long shift. But I'm crazy hungry, and that's just what I'm gonna do. Hey, uh, buddy, is this for 3D upstairs? Who are you? Uh, the guy who's giving you a really big tip. Get a haircut, would you? See? I've commandeered this delicious diner delivery, and I'm gonna take the cabbies who ordered it on the ride of their lives. I'll give them a shot to wager their entire meal, from cheese sticks to cheeseburger to cheesecake, against winning big bucks on a game show played in their own home. Maybe they know this city like the back of their hands, but I'll see how much trivia they have in their heads as I quiz them from room to room, raising the stakes along the way. If they get stuck, they can hail a friend, hit and redial on their phone to ask the last person they spoke with for help. If they get a question right, I'll pay them their fair share. If they answer incorrectly, there'll be no tips. I'm getting into this greasy grub. Start your meters, everyone. This is Money on the Menu. First question All in right. round three. Let's do it. It's worth 250 bucks. Okay. On the game show, the price is right. What is the highest money value slot on the big wheel that contestants spin to get into the showcase showdown? Can we can we use the redial uh, now then? You want to use it now? Yeah. You guys want to use your rescue redial? Yeah. Well, we'll use it because. Uh, want to use it now and we and, yeah. and, and not save it for uh, maybe. It's more. a two hundred fifty dollar question, yeah. so yeah. this is yeah. the last round. You don't get to take All it right. with you. All right. Yeah. yeah. If you feel okay. so, let's do it. Okay. We're gonna spend the money on the menu wheel and call the last person on John's phone for this two hundred fifty dollar question. We're gonna be calling her. Would you just check the last number you called? Calling Madden, my youngest daughter. All right. So here we're giving her a call. We're on the speaker. Here we go. Yes, hi, uh, Madden. Yes. Yeah, hi, my name is Nick. Uh, I'm in Seth's apartment with your dad, John, you know, and they're actually on a game show, believe it or not, and there's a feature called Rescue Redial where if they get stuck on a question, they can call the last number on their phone and ask for help, and your dad called you. Okay. All right, here we go. Now, Madden, I don't want to put too much pressure on you, but if you don't get this right, you're not going to college. <laughs> now, are you listening? Yes. For $250, and you're right to go to college, on the game show, The Price is Right, what is the highest money value slot on the big wheel that contestants spin to get into the showcase showdown? It's the... Uh, oh, I'm just thinking. I think it's... Um, I think it's $10,000. Is that right? Is it that high? We're on the wrong game show. I know. I don't know. I think it's, um, I'm just trying to think of the last time I watched it. Yeah, I'm almost positive it is $10,000. Oh, all right. It's a big, it's we, we would have never gotten it's that. It's a big wheel, after all. Right. Actually, I'm rethinking it. I'm thinking it's, uh, it has to be 100 because you have to get up to the closest you can to a dollar, and the closest you can get to a dollar is 100 So, yeah, it's 100 Listen, she's All right, so that's confident. it. I mean, we know I nothing no about this yeah. game, so. Bye-bye. Uh, All right, guys, now, you don't have to go with her answer. She put a couple of different answers out there. Right. Uh, again, I, I have no answer, and, and so, uh, and plus, she'll uh, be pissed at you if you don't use her answer. Yeah. All right. So, All right, go ahead. $100. $100. dollars Yes. Hopefully, Madden can go someplace that it only costs a dollar to go to school, <laughs> oh. because a dollar is the correct answer. Oh which is what makes me eating this cheesecake possible. And I hate you. That's my favorite part. Well, it is too. Oh, oh yeah. Right, that, that ends it. Once you go top, you can't stop. That's how it works. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Sorry that didn't work out, guys. <laughs> I like to call this game Dead or Alive. I will give you seven celebrities, okay. and you have to tell me if they are either living or deceased as of today. For every correct answer, you will get $50. Huh. Oh. Each incorrect answer will cost you some more of the food, which there's really not even that much left, but still, All right, no, you but won't win the money. It's good stuff still in So seven. Okay, seven. Dead or alive, uh, 50 uh, bucks a yeah. piece, yeah. up to $350. All right, let's this do it. This is like the death pool. The death pool, yeah, we've all been in that death yeah, pool. Yeah. So let's do it. Here's your first celebrity, Kirk Douglas. Kirk Douglas is very much alive. Yes, he is. Correct. Margaret Thatcher. Unfortunately, she's still alive. <laughs> I agree. Correct. Gary Coleman. 
Gary Coleman. Coleman died dead. Year, yeah. he dead died. as a doornail. Gary Coleman. <laughs> Gary Coleman is as dead as a doornail. Okay, and you guys have $150. Neil Armstrong. He's still flying around. No? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Um, I don't know for sure. Yeah, so, but you had your instinct. Yeah, I, think, uh, I heard him on right. Howard Stern there recently. So okay. He, he was pushing a book. Neil Armstrong something. alive. Correct. <laughs> Next one, Farrah Fawcett. Uh, great, I loved Farrah. Yeah, yeah, she had cancer. She, yeah, yeah, she died. She, she left us last year. She right? left us. Correct. Yes. Coretta Scott King. Coretta Scott King, unfortunately, also is dead. Yes, dead. Dead is correct. $300 in this question. And your last one is Smokey Robinson. Smokey, very much alive and well. Take a good look at the tracks of the tears of your wife crying over the BMW <laughs> question. You guys went seven for seven, $350. That gives you a grand total of $750 through three rounds. Not bad. Not How long week. do you have to sit in the cab to uh, make that much money? A whole week almost, yeah. really. Okay. So. Well, maybe you don't have to sit in your cab for two whole weeks if we go to the bonus round and you guys double your money to $1,500. How does that sound? Sounds He's good great. to us, man. Yeah, well, your friend Nick sometimes can be a big tipper. Let's find out <laughs> if we can double the money of Seth and John in the bonus round when money on the menu returns. Going anywhere is not an option. Back here on Money on the Menu, where dinner is for winners. We play three rounds in Seth's home alongside his good buddy John, and they've won $750. But now it's time to turn this living room chock full of VHS tapes into the bonus lounge. Bonus round time where you guys can double your winnings up to $1,500, which is a pretty good day of driving a cab, right? Yep, very good. Now, the reason why these guys have switched their seats is because the bonus round is gonna play into a specialty of yours, John. Now, earlier when we were talking about the VHS tapes and favorite movies, you said that two of your favorite actors are Robert De Niro and Al Pacino, yes? That's correct. Well, during the break, we came up with 10 questions that are gonna test your knowledge on the topic of Robert De Niro and Al Pacino movies. If you can successfully answer six of them in 60 seconds, what we call the six and 60, we're gonna double your winnings from 750 to $1,500. Also, you know that meal that I've been eating throughout the course of the day? We're gonna replace the entire order for you. But if you are not able to get six questions right in 60 seconds time, we're gonna leave you with the food that we've previously eaten and you just keep the $750. Please let me ask the question in its entirety before giving an answer. All the answers do have to come through you, John. Right. The clock of 60 seconds begins after I ask the first question. Are we ready? 60 seconds, here we go. Before he's buried alive at the end of Casino, Joe Pesci's character is severely beaten by henchmen using what piece of sports equipment? Baseball bat. Correct. To prepare for his role in The Godfather, Robert De Niro took up residence on what Italian island? Sicily. Correct. In what 78 movie does De Niro play Michael, a Pennsylvania steel worker who gets shipped off to Vietnam? The Deer Hunter. Correct. In Taxi Driver, what four-word quote does Travis Bickle keep repeating while talking to himself in the mirror? You talking to me? Correct. Yes, I am. Al Pacino earned his first Oscar nomination for his work in The Godfather while working for what director? Francis Ford Coppola. Francis Ford Coppola. Correct. Kevin Costner played what famous crime-fighting prohibition agent in the 87 film The Untouchables? Elliot Ness. Elliot Ness. That's it! Hey! The Jazz Aids break down once again. <laughs> Prohibition has been repealed. Congratulations, gentlemen. <laughs> you are the winners of $1,500. We've done it, brother. Just like that. We're going to be drowning in Guinness tonight. A stranger, <laughs> eat your food. Oh. You doubled your money just like that. All right. Great job, <laughs> Good job, Thank John. You, Nick. Awesome job. It's been a lot of fun. And hey, next time you guys order some takeout, Make sure that you get ready for a game show at your door. It just could be us with a little bit of money on the menu. See you next time. <laughs> Good time, right? Now all we need to do is spend... Margaret, come on out here and give him some love. <laughs> Tell him he's done a good job. Maybe in German this time. <laughs> What's that? He did. I mean, Wait a second. This is the best thing ever. She's been hanging out in the back with a rum and coke and a smoke.